much for joining me for my first historical Women Crush Wednesday. So, today we're going to start with the legendary Margaret Booth. Don't know who she is? Give you a little bit of a hint. A little bit of a hint. So, what is this? And these have to do with each other. So, Margaret Booth was actually the first film editor first female film editor. Film editors were originally called cutters, and they were very often young women. Why were film editors usually women right at the beginning? And what they would do was take film, like this, although this is for stills, and um, would sew it together and then put it on one of those big old reels like you see. Okay, so, so a little bit about Margaret. She first started as a cutter or a film editor at the age of 15. Her brother died, unfortunately, in a car accident, and she had no way to make money. Um, and so she had to learn how to, um, you know, ensure her own livelihood. So, D.W. Griffith hired her as a cutter in which she would cut film and sew it back together in order to make a movie. She now, learned how to edit from John M. Stahl. He was, an, uh, he was a, um, an editor during the time, and he taught her everything that he knew about film editing and the importance of finding the rhythm in a movie, like poetry, that she would say. So, what that meant is that basically, when she would watch a film, she would count the beats of different action going on on screen. So, for example, if there was a march going on, she would watch the steps of the soldiers and count to herself. One, two, three, four. She wanted to make sure that she would only make cuts on the downbeat of the foot hitting the pavement or the rocks or whatever they were marching on. She thought that that was really important because it would continue with the sound that your brain would be creating. So even though this was silent film, so there was actually no sound going on, she thought that it was very important for the viewer to be able to create those sounds in their head and have that match with the edits. Pretty cool, right? Um, she also had a very specific way that she would cut comedy. She would make sure that she would up the tempo because com comedy is so much more, um, you know, infectious and uh, high energy. So whenever she would be cutting a comedy, she would make sure that the cuts were were sharper and, and quicker to match that tempo. So, um, the first film that she ever edited herself um, was called The Bridge of San Luis Rey. Um, and that was actually really important because it was one of the first films that actually had some sound components, which added a whole other ball game for film editors. Um, she actually spent three decades at MGM where no film would leave MGM and go to distribution without her approval. So she became extremely important very quickly. Um, she was such a crucial part of the industry and so many film editors and film directors talk about her and the important stamp that she had on the industry. She was nominated for an Academy Award um, in 1935 for Mutiny on the Bounty um, and did not win, but she did win an honorary Oscar, or she was um, awarded an honorary Oscar um, in 1978. And then she actually ended up working for many, many years after that. Um, she died, uh, you know, very recently um, in 2012 at the age of 104. 104, so crazy. Margaret had such an important impact on the film industry. Thank you so much for joining me on this little slice of history and be sure to tune in next week for my next Historical Women Crush Wednesday where we're going to be talking about the first female candidate who was nominated, <laughs> the first female who was nominated as a candidate for president. There we go. Tune in next week. <laughs>